Betty in Blunderland is pretty good fun. This is a 1934 Betty Boop cartoon from Fleischer Studios, directed by Dave Fleischer, with Roland Crandall as the animation director, and we have Bonnie Poe voicing this particular Betty Boop. And this is, of course, based on Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland. At the beginning, Betty is doing an Alice in Wonderland themed jigsaw puzzle and she sings this delightful little song about the bits of the puzzle she's looking for. And then she stands up and crosses over to the mirror or looking glass in her bedroom and crosses through into the world that is very much inspired by Alice in Wonderland. And some of the characters are definitely recognisable. Um, certainly the Mad Hatter, um, the, the White Rabbit. I thought everything looked absolutely fantastic. It is quite bizarre. There are some peculiar happenings and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And one of the exciting things was wondering which bits of Alice in Wonderland they're going to bring into it, which recognisable characters we'll see, how Betty Boop will fit into this world. And one of my favourite bits was when she drank and shrank and then walked through this tiny little door and entered the garden. And I just thought that was a beautiful bit of animation and it worked really well. I had a lot of fun with it. I love the idea of a jigsaw puzzle basically coming to life in your imagination, which is what I'm interpreting has happened, rather than Betty Boop literally crossing through into Wonderland or Blunderland. I loved it. Had a lot of fun with it. As a Betty Boop cartoon, it worked really well. She really fits into this role of Alice really easily. As a fan of the story of Alice in Wonderland, I loved seeing how it was loosely based on that and the different kind of inspirations it took from that. Needless to say, Betty in Blunderland is one that I definitely recommend.